Yes, as you may have seen, I am Christian. I believe that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died for me on a cross 2,000 years ago. But instead of telling you what I believe, I'm going to tell you why I believe. And this is my testimony. Now, I grew up in a Christian home with Christian values. I believed in right versus wrong, truth over lies, just like most of us did. I did what I was told just to avoid the trouble. I went to church on Sundays and prayed before I ate. I tried to be a good little Christian and follow the rules. Despite what my actions portrayed, I didn't believe. I wasn't committed. Fast forward to age 24 and I'm a completely different person. I stopped going to church, stopped praying, and pursued my selfish desires. I barely spoke to my family. I overate, had a crippling porn addiction. The list goes on. Let's just say I'm at my lowest point. I'm on my third night in a row of just panic attacks in my bed. My wife is right beside me, but I've never felt so alone. If you want to know exactly how I felt, listen to the song Paralyzed by Solence. That describes it pretty well. So my mind is just racing. So many voices, so many thoughts, it's just overwhelming. I started thinking those scary thoughts too, like, nothing matters, what's the point, or nobody cares. Down the rabbit hole I go, and at some point I start thinking about God. I think to myself, what if he is real? What if this whole Christianity thing actually means something? So in my desperation, I call out to God. God, if you are real, save me from this hell that I'm in and I will surrender my life to you. Suddenly there was silence. I could breathe again. The tears stopped and I felt this warmth, like a big heavy blanket rolling over me, starting from my feet all the way to my head. It was this feeling of peace unlike anything I've ever felt before. And at that very moment, my wife rolls over and asks me, are you okay? And I confidently answer back, yes. Yes, I am. This was the start of a beautiful relationship with my savior. And over the next two years, he has started to mold me into the man I'm supposed to be. Now I'm definitely still a work in progress, but so far he has helped me conquer my greatest fears mended broken relationships and given me more friends than I ever thought I could possibly obtain. Accepting God as my creator and Jesus Christ as my savior has been the greatest decision I have ever made and I could not recommend him enough. Now I have more spiritual encounters that I would love to share and new things I have learned while on my journey. So let me know in the comments below if you would like to know more and I would love to share with you. Now before I go, I want you to know no matter how lost or afraid you are, Jesus loves you. Despite all the things that you've done or the people you've hurt, Jesus will never, ever turn his back on you. That I bet my life on. But remember, it is your choice if you want him in your life or not. I'll catch you all next time.